Hi, this is Glenn McMahon from VisionOn.TV, a preview for the Real Social Network here at UCL University. The occupation happened last year during the shooting protest. We're joined by Sher Surgeon, one of the producers of the uh, Real Social Network. Uh, hi, Surgeon. Hi. Hi, thanks for coming, guys. I haven't heard much yet, really. I mean, I'm kind of waiting to see what you guys um, have. I think you've, you've probably spoken to more people than, than I have. So uh, I, I think, I mean, it felt really good at the screening. And we're getting sort of reports on Twitter from other universities that, you know, it was an overwhelming, you know, they're all overwhelmingly positive. And we got, a hundred and we got over 100 new Twitter followers in the last hour. So I guess that's good. I mean, yeah. And so what inspired you to film it? What inspired you to make the film? Um, this room, this very room that we're in. We walked in here um, just like 11 months ago. We walked into this room and there was a huge meeting happening because you know it was during the occupation, and we um, we just brought cake. We weren't going to film at all. I mean, there was like no intention to in our minds to do that. And we just saw this meeting, and all of a sudden, at the end of the meeting, we were like, we want to help. We really want to help, and we've got cameras. We, you know, we want to do something. So, um, yeah, I think we've been trying to do that ever since. In a way, tell the story of how what it turned into eventually is we tried to tell the story of how a group of young people um, got together to protest about something. And you know, if you see the beginning of the film, it's quite sort of, you know, maybe cliched students. You know, they're just getting together, trying to do some actions and everything, and they're not very experienced activists. And by the end of the film everything escalates so much and I think it, it that shows how much um, our um, our relationship with authority has changed over the last year and the way we protest and, the way, and you, you're seeing it now with occupations happening in squares and everything it's a completely different tactic than before. People feel they're more empowered to take things into their own hands is that is that what you're saying that actually you can organize yourselves and can get the media attention that you want and that get your voice heard is, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think, and even, like, it's becoming less and less about getting media attention. Um, we were actually, actually just talking about it earlier today, that a lot of people now even go as far as saying, well, we don't actually have demands. We don't, we can't, we just, we don't want this sort of narrative imposed on us. We're just going to sit here until something happens. Um, because there's no list that can be made. The list is infinite, you know, if you want to make a list. So I think a lot of people are starting to understand this and um, engage on a completely different level from what we had this time last year, really. So, I mean, I mean, what would you like people to take from the film or learn from the film? That they can be empowered? Is that the main message? That you can use the technology around you and get off your backside, if you like, and you can actually make a difference or be heard or take action? Yes, that, uh, but also that um, there's a you know there's a kind of way that the mainstream media have represented you know the student movement and um, you know the, the movement that grew out of it essentially a wider social movement um, you can cut and everything. Um, there's a way they've kind of split the activists in factions. The, the media do that. Uh, what we were trying to show is that. It's not so black and white. Things are not so black and white. That, you know, the good kids and the bad kids. What the media represented, the, the good good kids and the bad kids, are often the same kids. And I mean, in in your film, you did sort of cover slightly the people from Camden Girls School uh, and the EMA, but largely a lot of the people who seem to be organising actions do seem to be people like universities and educated people. Um, what sort of space or room is there for people who are from more working class backgrounds who maybe not gone to university to get involved or to organise themselves? Do you think there's space there for maybe a similar film to be made uh, to sort of encourage or show what they're doing? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I think that it would be um, and actually a much bigger job than, than this film was. And um, yeah, that should be, should be done. It's a very, very good point. Um, I mean, I got interested in a lot of things through making this film. Uh, I originally, I'm, I've, I've only lived in this country for two and a half years, I'm originally from Serbia. Um, and I've learned a lot about this society through making this film. And I've, um, I got quite interested actually in exactly what you're talking about. So we'll see.
Uh, and uh, your sort of next uh, film, do you have a, ideas in the pipeline for where you go next? Um, I've put out two films in the la- no, well, no, I've put out four films in the last two years, so I'm a bit, it's a bit overwhelming. Um, I think, I don't know, I think we need to, this is the thing, we need to really try and get this film out now. Um, what I'm hoping is that, you know, the interest that we were able to now demonstrate in the universities tonight, you know, we had 11 universities screen it tonight, SOAS is screening it tomorrow, the London Stock Exchange occupation is screening it tomorrow. Um, there's going to be a lot of other universities this week that will show it running up to the demo. I, I'm hoping just that the interest that we were able to demonstrate in the film, in this story, forget the film, in this story that the film tries to say, um, it will bring it more exposure than to the wider audience uh, and who will then take away what I was trying to say earlier, you know, that these are really the same kids and you really t- need to try and understand this. So. Thanks, thanks a lot for joining us, Surgeon. Much appreciated. This is Glenn McMahon for VisionOn.TV at the preview at UCL for the so- Real Social Network. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thanks a lot.